What's going on YouTube? It's I Can Swim here with another great tech tutorial for you. So today we're going to be working with the BIOS user password. And what this does is it prevents you from actually accessing your BIOS setup. And if you were in my if you were in my shoes and you had this, it can be quite frustrating when you need to either check settings or change them. So um I've reset the password already, but I put another one on for example. And we're assuming I don't know this password, so this could be quite frustrating. So when we get to this screen, we see that it's um, enter password, but we don't know it. So we're just going to exit right out of that. Just go ahead and restart your computer and just log into your operating system normally. Um, and after that, we'll we'll get started on on the stuff. So we're going to be downloading a program called CMOS PWD and I'll have a link in the description for the for the download and we'll take it from there. And so this is this is a step-by-step -step example. Um if you if you prefer the written instructions I'll be sure to put a link of that in the description too so you can you can always have a reference so to speak so we're just logging in now and we're back on our home screen so I'm not gonna download the thing the um, link again but I'll have it in the description so you just go ahead and then you're gonna download it and extract it you're gonna extract it to wherever and just copy those files to your to your hard drive to the main directory not any of the sub ones and once you do that once they're copied just exit out of that and now you're gonna so you're gonna hold the start key and press R and that's gonna bring up this little run dialog box here and once that's open you're gonna type in C M D just like that and then press enter or press ok and that's going to bring up the command prompt just like that and once this is up you're now going to type in that file so it's going it's going to be cd space c for, for your c um, directory or whatever your hard drive letter is because they vary and then you're going to type in CMOS, this one it'll be version 5.0. So you're going to type in CMOS PWD 5.0. That's the version. And then you're going to do slash. So this is assuming you're running Windows, but if you're running like, I guess, DOS or Linux, there's a file in there for that. So you would just change the directory to c dash cmos pwd dash 5.0 slash windows or whatever your operating system is and then you're going to put a slash at the end of there and press enter so it's going to change the directory now to this right there it's cmos pwd whoops let's get back into focus there why are you going out of focus So it's going to be CMOS PWD 5.0 slash Windows. And that's the directory it's in now. But I'm sure you can figure that out. And then once you have that, you are now going to type in IOPERM. That's one of the files in there. And space, then a dash, and the letter I and then press enter. And that's just, it's gonna take you to the same directory, but it actually changed something. Um, now you're gonna do the command CMOS underscore, oh no, sorry. CMOS PWD underscore Windows slash K. And what this is going to do, this is the magic right here. This command, this line actually right here, is what is going to take you to the crack, so to speak. 
and so once, whoops, sorry about that. Once you press enter, you get these options right there. And you guys can see there, you have the kill CMOS, so that's going to actually kill the password. Um, but it won't keep any of your um, date and time settings. So that's what the second one is for. It'll keep the date and time settings if it can. And the zero is if you changed your mind. So we're going to go ahead and just delete the passwords altogether. So we're going to press two, but try to keep the settings we want and then press enter. And there, it's very fast. And then there you can see CMOS killed. So that means it erased the password. So once that's done, you can exit out of that and you can just you can exit out by just typing the word exit and it will exit out of command prompt. Once you're done that, we're going to go ahead and shut down your computer. The shortcut for that is Alt F4. And that's going to bring up turn off computer and just pick turn off. Now, once that turns off, we're going to restart the computer. And whatever your hotkey is to get into the BIOS setup, you're going to tap that key repeatedly. And that's when the magic happens. This might happen, but don't worry about it. It's just the, um, it's the fact it thinks your antivirus can think that it's a virus or something, so don't worry about that. It's not actually harming your operating system. And I know that sounds odd, but it's this one time that it's acceptable. So you just power off, power on, and tap your hotkey. Mine's F2, so I'm going to be tapping that repeatedly. And now it's just getting its stuff together, getting its bearings back. There we go. So once it's got its stuff together, um, you just press F2. And now, as you can see, we are right into the BIOS. Because that program actually erased the entire BIOS password, just wiped it. So now you can get into there freely and go through and do all your stuff and that's it um, note though that you have to be able to access your operating system for this to work so once but one if you do have it this tool will work for you flawless every time and like I said I'll have everything in the description in case it was hard to follow so till next time guys thanks for watching